welcome to day one. I have been wanting to do like a seasonal daily vlog for a very long time and I just never have. And so this year I decided early on in the year that I was going to do it and I was so excited all year. And then I ended up in a place where like it didn't make sense and I was getting nervous because I didn't know if I was going to be able to pull it off. But I decided no matter what, I was going to do it. So. <laughs> Here we are. So I'm starting out my day with some raisin bran and some English muffin with goat cheese because apparently I'm 80 years old. <laughs> but don't judge me, it's delicious, okay? What better way to start a Halloween vlog than with creepy crawlies? So this is technically how I started my morning. I found this stupid bugger last night on Smoosh and... <sighs> Okay, so Smoosh is a trauma dog. We rescued her. We've had her for about three months now, but she's had a very shady past. She's five years old now, and so, like, basic care sometimes with her is almost impossible just because she gets very bitey and very snarly and snippy, and so this was an absolute pain in the butt. I was getting really nervous because... I wasn't sure if it was even something that I was going to be able to get off of her myself or if I was going to have to call the vet. And on the subject of vet, I actually tried taking her in to get her shots updated earlier this month. And because of her behavioral issues, they actually sent me home with like sedation pills that I'm going to have to give her before her next appointment, which is actually November because they're that booked up. It's a whole situation, my god. <laughs> but they had asked me to try the pills out before her actual appointment to make sure that they were going to work the way they were supposed to and they're not. They're actually kicking in like half a day later. So poor Smooshy Girl is just so sleepy right now, but it was like the only way I was able to get the tick off this morning. But I'm gonna have to call the vet and find out what to do because they were saying that it was supposed to kick in like an hour and a half before her appointment, and clearly it's not. So <laughs> I guess what I'm trying to say is good morning. She had an appointment earlier this month, um, but she is a rescue dog, so she has behavioral issues, so she was giving the vet issues that day. So we weren't actually able to get the appointment done like they weren't able to do anything with her. So they sent us home with some sedation pills, um, acepromazine. Okay. So I finally finished everything that I needed to get caught up on. I started with phone calls because I hate making phone calls so I want to get that out of the way. I had to clean the kitchen because that was getting really bad. I had to wash dog blankets because those were getting pretty stinky. <laughs> I had to pay bills and now it's around noon and I'm already tapped out man. Like if this is what getting old is, I don't want it. While I was running around getting stuff done though, Smoosh was getting up and actually walking around and eating some stuff. I took her out on a little walk in the yard. And she seems to be snapping out of it, which is good news, but I am still waiting to hear back from the vet because clearly the sedation pills aren't working how they were hoping they were going to work. And so we're going to have to figure something out before her November appointment. So I'm waiting on a call from them. But now that all the stupid stuff is done, I had to actually work on the things that I had planned to work on today. So the number one thing is I want to dye my hair red. I still have some hair dye left over, so I want to use that up. And number two is I need to figure out what my costume is going to be this year, and then I want to start working on it. And it's been very low on my priority list, so today was supposed to be the day that I work on it. Past that, I have some illustrations to do and some other small projects, so today's going to be kind of chill. So here's the deal. When I first bought these, I bought two different colors. So I bought Bubblegum Rose and Neon Peach, and these are the unicorn hair from Lime Crime. And I'm thinking, because there's not a ton left of either, there's about half and half, I think I'm just gonna like mix them all together and just make one color. <laughs> That's the plan. These colors... Excuse you, I'm talking. These colors don't last long at all, <laughs> but the product smells absolutely amazing. And if you're just looking for quick color, you just wanna test out a color, see how it's gonna work for you, these are really great. If you're looking for long lasting color, these ain't it. Also, for those of you who I have to explain this to, <laughs> my bathroom light is off because the light is attached to the fan, which I think is so stupid. Jordan's tried to fix it, but the way it's hooked up is going to be a bit more difficult to fix, so we just haven't done it yet. But it's frustrating because I can't do anything in the bathroom, filming-wise, when the stupid fan's going. <laughs> Alright, here we go. I have kind of an awkward... I have kind of an auburn color here now, so I'm going to turn the light on and I'm going to get to work. The dye is all in now. I'm going to let it 
that sit for like an hour to an hour and a half and then we'll rinse it out and we'll see what color I end up with. We'll see if I'm as bright red as I was last time or I'm kind of hoping this time it's going to be more pink so we'll see. It's not as dark as it was before and I'm very thankful for that so I'm glad that I mixed the two colors because it's kind of a dusty pink now and I'm kind of digging it. <gasps> he went to go for a walk. Yay, let's go. Let's go for a walk. Set a lot of my worries at ease and basically he just said the night before the appointment to give her a pill and then depending on how sedated and out of it she is that morning to give her another pill or another pill and a half and he said if that still doesn't quite work to give him a call and then they can decide if she needs more so it sounds like the drug isn't super dangerous it just makes them very sleepy so she is at least coming out of it now she's got her energy back, she's eating and drinking, so I'm not gonna worry about it anymore. <laughs> Do you know it's dinner time? You sit? Smooch sit. up a design I think I've decided this year I'm going to go as like a gypsy fortune teller that sounds like a lot of fun and it sounds like a lot of fun to make too so I'm gonna have to make a list of things that I need to buy I'm gonna go through my fabric and see if I currently have anything that I can use for this costume some of it I already have so I'm gonna start planning things out <laughs> with them. I was reading different ways to kill ticks. People are like smash them between rocks or like drown them in alcohol or set them on fire. Jesus. I, people are not chill. Well, I mean I get it. <laughs> like... I think someone's super duper ready for her walk. I think I just tore my toe off. Nope, still there. All right guys, we're back home and I'm gonna end today's vlog here so I can start editing, but I'll be back tomorrow with a new vlog and every day leading up to Halloween. So please be sure to tune in, subscribe if you've not already so you can get notifications, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!